UCL actually introduced us to it. We used it on the JW Marriott of the ICE District, and my superintendents really liked it, and they said it'd be a benefit to us. So we started implementing it on all our concrete structures, basically. On that JW Marriott, they were on a four-day cycle that PCL was holding us to. So time was really tight on that kind of job. So it was good having the sensors because our superintendents could just go up to that sensor and get the strength and the temperature and tell the guys, hey, we can start our cycle now. Before it was a cylinder break, um, we were waiting for the initial resource to come back from the lab. So our superintendent would go to our client superintendent, ask if he got the result, wait for that phone call to come in. So there was sometimes a lag of three to four hours in that day. It saves us in the long run. Not only does our crew use it, but our clients as well, they'll download the apps and they're confident in the results too that we can move forward as well. I think it's interesting to see how far technology has come before. Uh, I mean, waiting for a normal cylinder break to actually having the results there in actual time on your phone, that's, that's been the biggest difference, I think. I think it will actually become standard on our projects going forward in the future. We took a look at your uh, the new sensors that you have and uh, I think that will help us out a lot greatly going forward.